Okay, welcome back to Rated M. I am your host, TR. Now, you guys that are tuned in, please call in at 973-460-8931. Again, 973-460-8931. And our topic is no baby daddy info equals no birth certificate. Now, for those who don't understand what that means, for one, in Illinois, they're getting ready to pass a law that if you don't give at the hospital the baby, the baby's father, baby daddy's information, you don't get a birth certificate. And you were saying that's a new th that's a new law in Illinois. Yes, no, you're it's, about it's a to bill. pass it. It's a bill. Okay. It's not yes, a, a not a law, okay. and it's sponsored by two white Republican male. Oh. I just want to put that out. Is there. this part of the war on <laughs> women's reproductive rights? Is this part of that? I I don't know. I think that might have something to do with welfare. I think it's more about money and okay. yeah, and it. It's just, if I might, may, it's just so narrow-minded because we were we briefly discussed about people being raped yeah. or women choosing to have uh, a baby by themselves and they could be financially stable. That, but then you don't get a birth certificate. If you don't get the father's information, you don't get a birth certificate. I would think the birth certificate is in, is incumbent upon the baby, having nothing to do with the lineage. It's a baby. There was a father. I mean, if you don't have the info. That the baby exists. That's what the birth certificate right. is, that the baby right. exists. Because um, there's plenty of birth certificates that doesn't have babe, fathers signed off on it. Because before it came where you could put the baby's father's name on it and he didn't have to sign saying it was his. Now, in order to put the baby's father on the birth certificate, he has to sign for it to be on there. That's how it was with my granddaughter. And uh, now, if you don't have a signature of the father, no birth certificate. And to me, it's like if there's no birth certificate, there's no proof of a birth other than a Bible. You write it in the Bible. And if there's no proof of birth certificate, then you don't exist. If you don't have a birth certificate, you can't go to school. If you don't have a birth certificate, it's like you can't get anything. It's like you don't exist at all. This doesn't sound like a bill that's going to pass. It, especially in a mostly democratic state. It's Illinois, right? Right, but yeah. the the fact that people are actually thinking about that it's and scary. considering it, yeah. and even creating a bill and getting some kind of traction, even though it won't go anywhere, probably, yeah. it's really scary. The fact that it, it's a possibility. All you need is a couple of votes here or there, yeah. and it's a possibility. I think that's really scary. That's why people yeah. they don't realize that it's it's not only voting for when the mayor comes up, or the council people, or the Just governor. The president or the, just the president. There are bills and stuff going on all right. year around. That affects right. you day to day. Right. Right. right, regarding your kids with school, a lot of things. And it's crazy, because I know, all right, my parents were married, so my parents' name is on my birth certificate. My daughter, her father didn't um, sign the birth certificate. That was all established when I went to court mm -hmm. and said that he was the father and the judge asked him, he said, yes, sir. So by the courts, it went on that he didn't have to do a DNA test or none of that. Mm -hmm. All right, with my oldest granddaughter, her father knew that was his child, but he was being mean and hateful, so he wouldn't sign the birth certificate. And then when he died, my daughter could, and she had a hard time getting Social Security for her because his name wasn't on the birth mm. certificate. So his mother had to step up and said, no, this is my granddaughter for sure. She looks exactly like them, you know, mm. if they went to court and see. But because he was died, um, it was very heart-wrenching for her that she had to agree to have his body resumed. 
so they can get whatever information to prove his DNA. Mm. They did that? To prove they were, yeah, she wow. signed the papers for it. And the court said that they didn't have to go through that, that they actually, if they want to know, they have all the records of his blood and et cetera from the hospital because he was in the hospital for about a week and it ended up, you know, he was on life support the whole time. Mm. And, um, and she was willing to go that far for the love of my granddaughter because she knew it was hers and that was the only thing that she had of her son. Mm. And she just went and signed the papers and all that other stuff and said it was her granddaughter. That's how my daughter was able to get the social security, mm. you know, through her father being that he would, um, had died. But who knows what will happen now the way they do it, you know. It's so what like, are they saying about the people who do do the in vitro and things like that? Well, uh, I guess it, it, I'm trying to figure out the motivation. Sorry to say it, but white male Republicans, it, it seems like the war on women and children and, and reproductive rights and everything, which is raging across this country. I'm just feeling like, is it, uh, you know, if you're not married, they're going to penalize you and your child? If you're, I, mean, I think it, it has to do with money and social services, okay. and you will not be able to get social service if you don't have a birth certificate. Right, mm -hmm. right. So but I mean, one of the things that they talked about is um, having if you don't have a family member step up and say that they're going to support this child right. and put that name in their birth certificate. So it does seem that it's a money motivating. But factor. even that is crazy because of the fact that. You could have a job now and not have a job later. And, That's right. And then you don't have no baby daddy on the birth certificate and you had to go to social services to get some kind of help. Mm -hmm. So now that exempts you from being out. So it can really hit everyone. It may not hit certain ones that are able to self-support themselves in a job, but the way the economy is and people losing their jobs. And what about the women who, you know, sad to say that's been raped or right. things like that that incest. don't know their, you know, their children father. What yeah, are, or yeah. incest. Right. Yeah, they what won't are they get put down. What, uh, like you say, even the people that are self-sufficient, you still need a birth certificate to get a passport, a driver's license register in school yeah. so it's not just a financial thing the effects are not just financial right it's just I, I'm, I don't want to be emotional about this I want to be logical but it just it, it, it does make me nervous and angry I guess because women bear so much of the responsibility with children right. anyway mm -hmm. like this just seems a further beating. further punishing like you know because she's the one who's going to miss out she's the caregiver of the child mm -hmm. so yeah and the father is gone scot free is like oh in many cases or like you know rape because incest, I'm quite sure there's a lot of unsigned birth certificates that's going yeah. oh, around yeah. now oh, yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go home and look at my kids birth certificates <laughs> now I because this was news to me. Yeah yeah and um, a lot of them if the father didn't sign off on it. Uh, right there at the hospital, the rest uh -huh. has to be done in court. Right. So it's Which like, costs money. Yeah. So if he's not there to sign off on it, and how, how about the ones that are serving in our country, and they're having babies born, and they're and not able to sign off on their baby's right. birth certificate? Or are you just going to discriminate a certain quote unquote, a type of people. So is this to punish women like. now because they feel like yeah. it's just so many babies coming in the world? Or? I think it has a lot to do with um, public, you know, what they call state or welfare assistance. Mm -hmm. But you can't just do that just for them. It will have to go across the board mm -hmm. because if you don't have uh, 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 the father's name on the birth certificate, then that means you cannot get assistance with anything. Mm -hmm. So you have people who are their, their father of their children. How about they died in the war? Mm. Iraq or Iran. So they have and to they have sign to get, um, it. Yeah. The father has to sign right. it. Right. Okay. That um, they weren't able to sign their baby's birth certificate and their wife needs welfare or some type of assistance. And it's like, what do you do then? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's just a rhetorical question. It's like, all right, do you not help them because they don't have a a, a, a signature on their, their child's birth certificate? How are you going to do that? Well, it's still welfare because there's a lot of 
women that their um, or even families ended up on welfare because when their husbands or their mates come back from the war, they don't have jobs, they need help. Right. Right. A lot of them are going through that, mm -hmm. getting um, help for their families. And a lot of babies are being born while their, while their father are, are overseas. Do you think there are any women having babies just to get services? Yeah, you have that too. So do you think, is it something related to that where? That's what I'm saying. I think it's maybe because it sounds like it's, it's like, it's like a punishment in some way to, to women for women having, you know, maybe a certain amount of kids or just having kids and, you know, the state is taking care of it financially, mm -hmm. as you know. As a punishment, right. Yeah, as a, you know, a but punishment. You can, yeah, but although mm -hmm. you can't signal out those people right. because it goes to a wider spectrum. Mm -hmm. Right. That you might get some that will just be having baby after baby so they can get more money. I thought after the second child, you weren't able to get help anymore. I don't know. Yeah, I think they did some kind of cutoff now. I think it's yeah. like a five-year cutoff or... I think it is after a third child, I think the grant is lower. You, it don't go a certain amount of It doesn't just keep going up anymore. every kid you have. Mm -hmm. But, it, but I think the, the the food stamp still rise for if you have a certain amount of kids. I think the Well, the money, you, could, you could be working and get food stamps. Mm -hmm. if, you, you're mm -hmm. under, if you're working part-time and you're trying to mm -hmm. take care of your children, and mm -hmm. it's usually right. the mother, it's not right. the father, okay? Mm -hmm. You're trying to take care of your children, and you need help to feed them. Do they still have um, city welfare? Remember that was out back in the day? Yeah, I heard about that. I never was on it. I have no idea. Oh, because I don't really hear too much about city welfare. I think I remember, there is. I think there is. And I know it used I to be downtown I, Patterson years ago, but I don't see that building there no more. So that's why. But, uh, they call it SSI. Oh. And, um, and, and um, I'm, I'm leery with that because a lot of them get it because they're on drugs mm -hmm. or they're mm -hmm. alcoholics and they mm -hmm. can't fend for themselves. Mm -hmm. So they get money. Right. And I just have an issue with that. Are they I, yeah, mental I, mental that's disability? what I'm saying. I heard that people like that sometimes used to get partial like Did city welfare. Oh, city welfare. I uh, think yeah, food but, stamps too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I wonder like, to see it in a better light, is it also to try to get men to be more accountable? Because now their name and their signature what, is actually on a birth certificate. That's what they're saying, but you can't force them to no. come and sign. I mean, but that's right. rude. That's, I that's mean, that's one really of the mean that a guy don't want to sign Look, up. Look, if a guy signs this, then that means he could be made to do child support. Mm -hmm. And if he wants to be a smuck and not do that. Right. He that's don't have saying. to worry about going to jail for child I think it's mean support. for a guy not to want to sign your 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 kids oh, people do it all the time i know i know <laughs> you, you hear it all, all the time, time. and mm -hmm. you don't even have to be you could be wealthy and that happened they just don't want to take mm -hmm. no part in it it just seems like like well it just seems like an undue uh consequence for the woman in that case if the man doesn't want to come and sign the birth certificate she's the one who gets screwed <laughs> in that because deal. how does that go when you're when you have children with somebody and it's like um the father can sign his rights away or something and uh, he just have to pay the money and he don't ever have to like spend time with the children and you know and that that's 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 very messy too that they you know allow that kind of situation yeah, and so and are they on the birth certificate too they can be they could just give the child support and just have nothing to do with the child wow and a lot of guys sign those rights over mm -hmm. easy okay just I'll sign it just so I don't have to be bothered because they're not connected. They're not connected at all. Mommy's babies, daddy's maybe. Yep. Hmm. I think I think every guy should at least be a. I think the judge shouldn't grant that kind of stuff. That you're just able to just sign your signature and just not but, be bothered you know, with not the kid. A few years back, I read a story about this guy who had you know he paid child support and had a petition right, and he killed a little girl. Because he didn't want to pay child support. So you don't want to force someone to spend time with someone they don't. Right. And then yeah. do something, you know, Stupid. That's terrible. what I was asking you about. Remember I was saying there was some story about. There's been multiple ones that yeah. people don't want to pay child support. They got, so the they, guy killed the girl because of the child support order went up. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, it's really like when we were talking about your first news segment, um, when you were talking about um, the, oh, no, it wasn't the, it wasn't the in, in vitro. It was the other. The eight-year-old, the lady that yes, left the eight-year-old. Yes, thank you, thank you. So I was thinking, in a way, it was admirable because there are so many stories all the time, like kids being dragged out in the snow and left to die and abused and killed. And left oh my gosh, it's and- just awful like at least she actually took him to a place where mm-hmm. he was she didn't be, hurt him because she didn't tr him tr yeah. back in the day they used to live leave kids like on somebody's porch right like they would the, leave it on the ch- on someone's porch that they thought that will take care of the child they would leave it on a church well see back then churches were left open today they rob they go in they rob the churches and kill people and yes and they go in there because this church was always a sanctuary where you can go in especially the catholic church so you say the church was left open and you could just take the baby in there mm-hmm. and nobody wasn't there and just leave. well the, the uh there was always the nuns and stuff walking oh, okay. around mm-hmm. and someone will always find the child it will be not out in the cold it was very common for for people to drop off their babies mm-hmm. at, at, inside a church or they would put it in front of the church door ring the bell and run because i hear you know uh, um older moms always say that when they picking on their kids like that ain't my child somebody dropped him off and front of the door and just in a basket, you know, in a yeah. basket. basket. And so no, that's really, really true did, yes so they didn't get in trouble or anything mm-mm, for it mm-mm, mm-mm. but even now you can it's Dave Haven law you can leave it the baby in a police department fire, church fire, fire department, department. And, and hospital is that though mm-hmm. after 30 uh, within the first 30 days within the, the first 30 days right after 30 days you you're gonna get charged yeah. and then and they, most of them parents you don't know who they are they just it's okay and it's okay because it has been known for young girls to have babies. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the bathrooms and anywhere mm-hmm. with the umbilical mm-hmm. cord and everything. So and they'll stick them in garbage cans, wrap them up, hide them because they didn't want anybody to know that they had a, uh, there was a child. So to stop that, they made a law so that they could uh, drop the baby off with it, especially the fire department, because if they see the baby, they know what to do to keep the baby alive. Mm-hmm. If it's at a hospital, they know what to do. If it's a church right away, they could get help to know what to do. So that way, they end up usually finding out because of DNA mm-hmm. and but also they won't, the they won't look for you. If but it's they the first 30 days, yes, they, won't they won't look won't, for they you. They won't, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And they if they did, you. if you did, like, come up to the hospital and they go, oh, this person just had a baby, well, where's the baby? She won't go to jail. Right. This if they did the right, if you made an effort to not harm the baby and make sure somebody found it. Because, you know, you hear about people mm-hmm. suffocating baby mm-hmm. and drowning babies and mm-hmm. putting babies out and then they die because they're Oh, no, in my day, they were putting the them down the incinerators. Oh, oh my God! Down incinerators. Oh, the oh ones that, that after winter and then the snow will melt, you'll find a bunch of babies yeah, that have frozen common. to death because they will leave them out in yeah. the snow oh. and stuff. It was very and common. come spring, yeah. you'll find a bunch of babies. Yeah, it was very common for you to find um, a baby in a incinerator. Very common. Oh my gosh! So you know, this is so related to the abortion issue mm-hmm. because. But I wonder do those kind of people when they drop their kids off like that? You know, back in those days, like they just keep going with life and not even just think that. Well, they when you have, that. A, well, you have to realize back in those days and having a baby out of wedlock was so much shame and fear mm-hmm. that you you kept it. And of course, it affected them and it rides them through all their life. Mm-hmm. But it's such a hush hush because they had that kind of fear. You were seriously outcast. I had a child in 1973. I was hidden. I was an outcast. I only went on my front porch and came back. I well, was how just, old were you? Um, 17 and a half. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Who hid you? Your family didn't want you out? Um, not that they hid me. But it was like you were an outcast where nobody would want to be around you. It was like... It just wasn't discussed Mm -hmm. and not dealt with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did your parents feel once you had the baby? Did they take to your your, your child? It took a while, but it took a while. So you basically had to just do everything by yourself at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Like no help? They didn't want to be bothered with anything? You made your bed, you lie in it. Oh. Mm. And now we celebrate 16 and pregnant. They have TV shows. I know, right? How, how far we've come to the other extreme. You see, but, you know, when you take reproductive rights away from women and when you see that the burden of, 
of having a baby is so squarely on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. Those two things don't add up. Mm -hmm. She has to have options because look at now this kid, 30, in, inside of 30 days, okay, it wasn't left in the snow. This eight-year-old boy, they're part of the foster care system now. What kind of kids come out of that? It's really hard. They might have a great foster family. And but his mother really could have killed them too. Family. And, and, and no, it's distress. better than that. It's all but what I'm continuum. confused about is because you said she had three other kids. I do wonder because, like I said, she was had just separated from her husband, and she, uh, maybe he was a disciplinarian, or is she screaming for attention? Because now he has she has a husband back, mm. so and that's the father. That's the father. Yes. So was it some a ploy for her to get attention and screaming for or attention? Or to get him back? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I I'm just speculating. But from. still, with the birth certificate situation, mm -hmm. I think that is just so unfair to the child. Mm -hmm. I really because don't see the child, that. the child is really considered mm -hmm. not even existing because you can't get the child into nursery. You can't get the child into preschool. You can't get him into school. He can't go to college. He can't graduate from anything. He can't even get a job without... You can't even get... Uh, without a birth certificate, you can't even get a social security card mm -hmm. there's so many things that has demonized you where you can't move forward in anything in anything. your life and you right. just and then you start doing illegal things to get things and right. now you're still in trouble it's a setup from the beginning mm -hmm. yeah right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. yep wow that is just really crazy but on that note guys you know what we're not even going to go to a break. We're just going to call it a night, mm -hmm. and um, nobody called in. So, all right. Well, hopefully, you'll call us and follow us next week. We're here every Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can also follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and under YouTube is Ms. M Z T R, and that's T period, R period on um, YouTube. Rated M for Mature Radio is on Facebook. And you can also file, uh, follow me on TRTR and um, get the scope and find out what's going on. So on that note, knowledge is power. Power has an impact on your life. And remember, ladies, you will always rock. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye.